Gemini. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your, it's actually going to be a bi-weekly this week. It's going to go from July 31st until August 13th, 2017. Those of you that are new, welcome and thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe. Um, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. So this week I'm going to use the Witch's Tarot. Beautiful deck. All right, Gemini, I have already been praying over your cards for love, wealth, health, happiness over the next two weeks. I'm only doing it like this one time for, you know, just now. My schedule next week is insane. Your cards feel good. Guys, just keep in mind, too, if the reading does not resonate with you, look at your moon, your rising signs. And um, I am going to do this spread for you guys in the Celta Cross spread. Eight of Pentacles, just to cover more for the, you know, for the next two weeks. Crossing you is the Knight of Swords. Those of you that would like a private reading with me, as always, you know, my contact info is always below all of the videos. If you're going to book through the website, you could skip the calendar. I really need to do, I need to do away with that. Shadow side, this is the devil in this deck. And, you know, you guys are my seventh, eighth, I don't know, but guys, this card has been out a lot, the devil. A real lot. So you guys definitely want to look at your moon and rising signs. Okay. All right, recent past, five of cups. Crowning you. Nice, the six of wands. Moving into the second week, the Empress, nice. See yourself as the Knight of Wands. Environment, people around you is the Ace of Swords. Hopes and fears, temperance. And the outcome is the High Priestess, which is the Hierophant in this deck. Wow. You guys have a powerful next two weeks. Beautiful. Okay, your overall energy is the Page of Wands. Nice. All right, so I do see you guys very passionate enthusiastic you know for some of you there could be some very important communication that's coming in for you, you know, the page of wands is usually exciting passionate positive news you know but maybe you have to wait on it you know for some of you you know this this exciting news is finally coming through you know, it's something that you've probably had to wait for for a while now. Others of you, you could be starting, you know, a new passionate, new beginning, you know, a new path, going on an adventure even. It's very beautiful. You start out with the Eight of Pentacles. So, you know, I definitely see you very focused, especially in this deck. This deck is beautiful. You're working very hard. You know, if you, so you, know, you could have just gotten a job. I honestly feel there could be a lot happening for you guys at, at the, at like, right at the very beginning of the week, if not already coming into it with, you know, coming into the reading, you know, you guys already have a lot going on.
Now you're crossed by the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords. So this could be, you know, that confusing, hectic energy. You know, some of you could have literally just got a new job. Things are happening quickly, you know, for you. There's a lot going on right at the, right at the beginning of the week. You know, some of you are definitely working very hard, maybe even getting some kind of recognition, a raise, a promotion. This could be something that, you know, you're even hoping for, you know, focused on. You know, because with the Knight of Swords, you know, this is you really wanting things you know, to happen very quickly, you know, really wanting to move forward full steam ahead. It could even be, you know, wanting to move up within the company, you know, that you work for maybe, because I do see you very focused upon your work. You could absolutely be waiting on this communication concerning this raise, promotion, even a new job for some of you. For others of you, an air sign person, Another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius person could be important over the next two weeks. This person, this could be a person that you're working with. This could also be a, a person that you're very focused on. You know, or you're just simply, you know, focused on moving forward in some way. You want things to happen quickly. Maybe there's really some exciting new adventure in front of you guys that, you know, and, and you could be wanting this to happen really, really quickly. Now, in the foundation, I do have the shadow side, which, you know, I said it is, you know, the shadow side in this deck, but it is the devil. So maybe in the past you were dealing with some restrictions to where. You know, you felt tied, bound, you know, definitely restricted in some way, you know, feeling stuck. It could have been a job, maybe within the workplace, you know, you couldn't move up or tied to, to a job or a position that was just no longer serving you. And with this energy, you just really could have felt very restricted in some way. I do feel for some of you, this is a relationship, you know, but it's also talking about career or, you know, some sort, some sort of new beginning. You know, that's very, very exciting. But you just might have felt restricted in some way. Could also be an obsessing energy. You could have been obsessing about the situation, you know, whether it is that, you know, you're so excited, you want to charge, you know, forward or, or, or toward. With the Five of Cups in the recent past, you could have had some doubts, some challenges. You know, I do see you dealing with some challenges and restrictions. But this is behind you, you know. Thank goodness for that, you know. You're it's behind you. You know, even with the devil being in the foundation. You know, sometimes this energy, you know, could still be ongoing, you know, because this is the deep past, you know, this, this has already transpired with, with the devil card. This has already happened. But with the five of cups, you know, definitely feeling doubtful, you know, just emotionally in a sad place. Feeling, you know, even, especially in this deck, depressed. I do get the sense that this was definitely probably an unhealthy 
marriage or relationship. And it was really like really weighing you down. And I'm sensing that for some of you, it was, it just wasn't serving you emotionally any longer. You know, with the Knight of Swords here, I really feel like you just want to get the hell out of this. You know, it's it's been a challenge for you. And at the beginning of the month, you know, I think that it is you know, things starting to move, you know, quickly for you. You know, this is what you're very focused on. You know, those of you that are resonating with this, with this reading from a relationship standpoint, and not so much the career front, you know, this is what you're working very hard on. You know, what you're very focused upon is, de is you know, this detaching yourself, freeing yourself from really what no longer serves you. You know, it was very unhealthy for you. you know, the devil could even represent addiction, negative mindset. You know, there's something that you are really working on or really working on freeing yourself from. And I honestly think you feel really good about making this happen. You're definitely leaving this Five of Cups energy behind. Because what's crowning you is the Six of Wands. With the Six of Wands crowning you, you're feeling confident. You're feeling so much better. You know, with that Page of Wands there, it could be the exciting communication that's coming in. You know, it's very exciting. And then maybe... You know, and, and then they'll maybe, you know, the energy for you is starting to shift around the second week. You know, feeling successful, proud of yourself, confident. You know, for others of you, you really could have gotten that job. You know, some of you, I see this happening very quickly. Definitely maybe a little bit chaotic you know there's a lot going on but but this is you being very successful with something in your life for some of you again you know with the devil it's definitely leaving behind what was no longer serving you it was the it was definitely the right thing to do now coming up in the second week you know it's very beautiful you know this is that Abundance, beautiful, blessed energy, new beginning that's coming in. Some of you, this is you giving birth to something that really is going to be very, very rewarding for you. For my women, Gemini, if you have been trying to conceive, definitely go for it the next two weeks. This is that very fertile energy. Really. You could manifest that this, this next two weeks. Others of you, very creative, abundant, making a lot of plans, focusing on the future. There's a lot of passionate, creative energy here. And I do, I, I do really... See you leaving all of this negative stuff behind you and really moving forward. That's how you see yourself too with the Knight of Wands. You're definitely focused on moving forward. Passionate, ambitious. I feel you're excited. This is some kind of new adventure that's in front of you and it's very exciting. You know, for some of you, this is, you know, career related. For others of you, it's relationship related. It's definitely something that has you ecstatic, excited, 
very excited, you know, passion, passionately moving forward. This, this could also be things happening very quickly for some of you. I'm sensing that this could have been something that you've really been waiting on. And then, bam, you know, things happen for you just, just like that. Ace of Swords in your environment. This is absolutely cutting ties from what no longer serving you. Whether that be a job, a relationship that wasn't serving you any longer, you definitely cut ties. You definitely cut that tie, the connection. Maybe some of you are going to get a divorce, but definitely using that sword to release yourself from whatever this shit was. Literally. It could be a connection to a fire sign as well, an Aries Leo Sag. This could possibly be the person that you're cutting ties from. With the Ace of Swords is also communication. You know, this could be you speaking your truth. You know, the Empress, you know, could be, you know, a mother, a motherly figure. Speaking your truth, get, you know, getting to the bottom of something, receiving that clarity that you need. Also for some of you, especially if you've been you know, starting something new, a new job. You know, this could be you signing that contract. You know, but this is victory. You know, victory after going down a long road of challenges. You know, this is you charging toward this victory. And I also have temperance here. I see many of you healing. You know, being definitely guided you know toward these beautiful new blessings some of you could be hoping for more balance emotional healing you know maybe you have a lot going on you know things are happening very quickly for some of you and you're hoping to be able to handle everything that's going on all at once i mean it is it is a lot going on for you i'll give you guys that i mean there's not a dull moment in sight for you guys over the next two weeks. It really is very passionate. Um, and then you, you know, you leave the month or the week. I'm sorry. You know, with with the high priest, you know, which is the hierophant. This could be a Taurus. That's very important for some of you. But this could absolutely represent that new job. The company. It could represent you know, a large company. So that company could be important to you guys during these next two weeks. You know, also, you know, these documents. You know, getting getting signed. For some of you, there could be something legal going on, maybe with the government. That could be, you know, important for some of you. But, it, you know, it's also marriage and commitment. I am sensing for some of you, you know, you could be ending a marriage or a relationship. You know, maybe you could be getting married you know, you could have been dealing with some restrictions. You know, and that could have been, you know, in so many ways, blockages that you were dealing with previously, you know, and now finally you're able to, you know, get into that committed partnership. You're able to get married with the energy of the Empress. For some of you, you could, could have ended a relationship. Now you've met someone else. And this could be you committing. You know, the Hierophant is also about faith. 
Are you keeping the faith, staying positive? You know, this is you, I feel like seeing the end of the tunnel, having faith in regards to the future, having faith, you know, in regards to this new beginning that's coming, that's coming into you, this success that's also coming for you. I do feel contracts are very important. So some of you could absolutely be signing contracts, something legal, something to do with the company. I do feel for the majority of you that it is really going to be an exciting next two weeks for you. Exciting energy is around you. you know, very creative, very fiery, very passionate. Let me get two clarifiers on the on the hierophant. At least the hierophant. Show me why the hierophant is here for Gemini. Alright. These two cards wanna come. Wow, justice. Some of you are definitely gonna sign. You know, in Justice is underneath here, too. That's so strange. It's karma in this deck, but it is under there. And the Eight of Wands. So you definitely are receiving communication. Signing contracts. Justice is definitely, you know, a very favorable outcome. It is the Yes card. Yeah, guys, it's beautiful. You're definitely getting that communication. definitely moving forward but I think this communication has everything to do with it that allows for you to start moving okay let's get some love cards could be, some of you could be even dealing with just a Libra oh, and, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag Gemini, July 31st, August 13th. Okay, definitely these two cards want to come. Alright. That one flipped up. I'm going to get you an additional guidance card. Healing with the angels. Okay, well, this card flipped over. You deserve love. You are lovable. Lo oh my goodness. You are lovable. Gemini. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Faith. We've talked about that with Hierophant. Stay positive. Keep the faith. Things will work out fine. Some of you absolutely did are going to end a relationship. This wasn't serving you. There's probably lies, deceit. Someone's wearing a false self mask in the relationship. Whatever that is for you. Um, I'm going to be honest. Most of the time I see this as cheating. And it could be why you're ending a relationship. But I think there's a new one right around the corner for you guys. Like literally getting out of one and just starting something new. And you have some serious intentions. So, with this card, you are asked to take inventory of your expectations, okay? And I mean, like, 
What do you expect to happen today, tomorrow, in the near future? What do you want to see happen? Whatever your expectations are, they are seeds of your intentions. You know, an intention means that you have to set a goal, you know, and, and intend to achieve it. That's what intention is. It's, it's choose and infuse your intuition, your intentions with love and your intuition. I didn't really mean to say that, but it came out, but, but with clear intent, look at crystal clear intent, sharp intent in whatever it is for you. Okay, Gemini, I hope this reading helped you guys out for the next two weeks. I will see you guys back here very shortly with the monthlies. Um, until then, take care, have a beautiful day, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.